Hey everyone, and welcome to the fifth episode in my cat clicker game tutorial series. Today, I'm going to be showing how to add an accessory into the game, which is super exciting. And you can kind of see it just plopped onto the screen. It's going to be a golden crown that will give you a chance to randomly, I think, double your score when you click on the cat. And on top of this, I'm going to be adding four new upgrades onto the shop, into the shop. On. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and smash that subscribe button. Also drop a comment down below. I love reading through your comments. But anyway, let's start coding. As always, I need to show you the sprites and costumes you will need. And of course, also as always, I've updated my Scratch project with all of the art in it. So if you want to check that out, there'll be a link in the description so you can get the exact art. So that way you don't have to make your own. So what I have is a new sprite called Accessory. And in it, I have one called In A, and it's literally blank, and then one called Crown in it's a crown positioned on top of the cat's head. Then in the UI, I have a few new costumes. So I have one called the kitty crown, is just a button for it, gives a small chance of doubling cats per click from a click. I have auto petter, which is increases cats per second by one. I have a fishy cat food, increases cats per click by one. So those are the costumes and sprites you will need. So first of all, go ahead and head into the UI. So when we open up the shop, you can see that we don't really have much room. So we're not gonna be able to fit another upgrade in. The way to fix this is to make you be able to use your mouse wheel and scroll around in the shop. So let's go ahead and do that. Find a good spot like right here and pull out a when the up arrow is pressed, which also counts as our scroll wheel. Then go ahead and do if not key up arrow press. That way we can't use our keys. It has to be the scroll wheel. Then then we're going to make a brand new variable and name this shop scroll y for all sprites and then click ok. So now inside of this for the up arrow we are going to change that shop scroll y by negative one. Then we're going to duplicate this and do if down arrow is pressed and then if not down arrow pressed then change shop scroll y by one. And then we need to make an if statement do an equals and do shop open equals y. Then go ahead and duplicate this and put it over both of these like so. So now if we go ahead and show that shop scroll y, when we use our mouse wheel while the shop is open, it actually changes the value. So right now I'm scrolling down and now I'm scrolling up. So you can see it actually is working correctly. Now we just need to hook those variables up to the shop, which is actually surprisingly simple. So go ahead and find the main clone loop and add an if else into this else and add the if clone ID is greater than three and then duplicate this script right here and add a plus. So we're going to write in this clone ID greater than three, we're going to add the shop scroll Y. So now you can see when we scroll up and down, it actually changes the whole entire shop position. What we want instead is to add an equals and do if clone ID equals to one, then add an or, duplicate this two, add an or, duplicate this and do three. So if it equals one, two, or three, then we're going to change shop by the normal one. Otherwise, we're going to do the scroll Y. And as you can see, this is not working. And that is because the whole entire shop Y variable is actually supposed to be for the sprite only. And we made it for all sprites. So that is a little bit problematic. So let's make a for the sprite variable and name the shop Y like that. That way it's different. And we're going to go ahead and have to replace every single shop Y with a new shop Y. Thankfully, I have the scratch add-on. So see the shop Y? I'm going to go ahead and right click on it. I'm going to do swap variables and sprites and do shop Y. Make sure you name it right and it will replace all of those with shop Y. So now we can just go ahead and delete the old shop Y and rename the new shop Y to the right thing. Okay, so now when we open this up, you can see that only the scroll, but there is no limit and we can kind of just scroll off the screen, which is a little bit bad. What we can do is go ahead and add a limit onto this. So find the up arrow pressed and if the shop scroll Y is less than zero, then set the shop scroll Y to zero and go ahead and put that right in there. So now when we try to scroll too far, it will stop us because I'm scrolling up, but it won't let us. Find the 
create clones and change the amount to six and then duplicate this if clone ID equals to six and go ahead and take 233 minus 55. So that is 178. So go ahead and put 178 in there. So the reason I'm doing that is that way it's evenly spaced. Now when we open up the shop, there is a new upgrade in there. That means it is working. So let's set cost to 75 and the multiplier doesn't matter because we only can buy this one once. Now we need to make it to where you can unlock it so find the handle unlocking and then if clone id equals five wait until the time spot is greater than one then we're going to add six to upgrades available so duplicate this one and do if clone id equals to six go ahead and just put one here and just leave this blank and we buy this one we unlock this and then we buy that one and we unlock this guy and everything works automatically but you can kind of see that it is a little bit weird because it is like that and it kind of sticks over the edge so how we can fix this is go into the ui and go into the look block then go ahead and put an if statement inside of this if phone id is greater than three and do if the y position is less than negative 90 and i meant to actually do an if else statement so delete that one and do an if else statement right here next we're going to change the ghost effect by 25 if it is and otherwise change it by negative 25. I think we need to move the shop background down a bit. Clone ID equals to 3. Let's change this Y position. So like 264 looks nice and evenly spaced for 3 upgrades on the screen. Now we need to adjust the shop 127 and now it actually fits onto the screen. But when we close it, it does the same thing. So find this else and do if shop open equals to no. And if the clone ID is greater than 3, don't change anything otherwise on the Y when I'm highlighted, go ahead and change this to like negative 30 looks pretty good. Boom, when we open it, it actually is evenly spaced and we can scroll around and everything fits on screen. So you can tell that it's very easy to make upgrades. Let's go ahead and just make a bunch more. So let's do if clone ID equals 7, duplicate this and then do 8. Then we're going to go ahead and take 175 minus 55, and that's going to be 123 for the clone ID equals to 7. Then take 123 minus 65, and that's going to be 68 for the 8 one. Then for the value, 7 is going to be 100, and the multiplier is going to be 4. 8 is going to be 250, and the multiplier is going to be 10. Now we can go ahead and put that in the else and change the amount of clones that is created to 8 in the beginning. Find this if clone ID is greater than 3 for the shop open. Change this to like 150 so it's way off the screen. And now look at this. We can scroll through the shop. Let's change this Y position less than 90. Maybe less than 50. Yep, 50 looks good. So now they fade on. So now what we need to do is add the handle unlocking and then it's going to work completely. So for the 6, we're going to wait until time spot is greater than 0 and then we're going to add 7 to upgrades of available duplicate that and do if it's equal to seven then we're going to go ahead and wait until times bot is greater than one and then add eight and then for the clone id equals to eight go ahead and just leave this blank so now we should see that once we buy these we'll unlock them. and then buy a couple of those and we can't buy these ones because they're not unlocked so that's working we buy some of these we buy that now if we buy this okay it's not quite working that means we know that we did something wrong so let's go ahead and check out what did we do okay the reason it's not working because we left this clone id equals to eight blank so make sure you just put zero in there okay don't leave it blank because otherwise this whole system won't work so now if we test this out give ourselves money we buy two of those we get this guy we buy two of those we get this guy we buy one of these we get the auto petter then we buy a couple of those and we get the fishy cat food so now we just need to add some functionality to all of these things so go ahead and find the buy results and do clone ID equals to six and leave that blank because that is going to come a little bit later in this episode. Then go ahead and add another if else and do clone ID equals to seven in right here. We're going to change cats per second by one and then else if it equals eight, we're going to change the cats per click by one. So now we actually have functionality to this. So let's test it out. So let's buy this one. We get some cats per click. We buy this one. We get some cats per second. Oops, I said that 
backwards. We buy that, it does nothing. But if we buy this, the cast per second jumps up a whole number, as you can see up there. So now let's go ahead and buy this. So right now we're making 1.4. We buy this, we're making 2.4. We buy it, we're making 3.4. So you get the point now. All of these upgrades work except the kitty crown. So let's go ahead and make that start to work. The first thing is to make it only be able to be bought once because you only can buy the accessory one time. So find this K and buy and edit this and add another boolean and name this buy one and this is going to keep track of all the clones that can only buy one. Put a clone ID equals to six because that is the ID of our kitty crown. Now let's add an if else right here and go ahead and clean that up and do if buy once. Then we're going to do blank, otherwise put that in there. Duplicate all of this and then do an and right here and do times bought is less than one in the buy once. That means any clone ID we put in here will only be able to be bought one time. So let's test this out to make sure this all works. Give ourselves money, go through the upgrades really quick, buy them all, and now as you can see I bought that once and it won't let me buy it anymore. That's awesome but we don't really have a visual representation of us being able to buy it once. So go ahead and duplicate this clone ID equals six and add this on the very bottom right here and go ahead and do if clone ID equals to six then add an and and do greater than one one. So if clone ID equals to six and the times bought is greater than one, then we are going to go ahead and set the brightness effect to negative nine. And that is because we want times bought greater than zero. Now we can officially test this out. Buy this upgrade, then buy this upgrade. And now we buy this kitty crown once and I'm clicking on it, but it won't let me and it's grayed out. So what we need to do is make a list and name this cat accessory like this for all sprite. Then in the clone ID equals to six, we're going to add crown to cat accessory. Pull out a when I receive update and an if else. Next, we're going to pull out an equals and do cat accessory equals to blank. Then we're going to change the ghost effect by 25. Otherwise, we're going to change it by negative 25. Go forward five layers, set size to size of click, and then we're going to do go to click and pull point in direction 90 and change this to direction of click. Now we shouldn't see anything, but as soon as we buy the cat accessory, so instead of doing that, let's just add crown to cat accessory manually like so, it fades in on top of the player's head. Now go ahead and add a wind green flag click, wait 0.1 seconds forever, broad cast clear accessories, then switch costume to the NA and then repeat 10 times and change this to length of cat accessory. Next costume and create clone of myself. Then do a when I receive clear accessories delete this clone. Now we go ahead and delete all of cat accessory and it disappears and if we add the crown then boom we have the crown on our head now. Now let's optimize it a bit so make it new for this sprite only variable and name this old cat accessory like that and go ahead and set the old cat accessory to the list cat accessory and do that at the very bottom. Then we're going to wait until not and then it equals old cat accessory not equals the cat accessory. That way it doesn't do it every tick. It has to actually update it. Next, let's make this work because it doesn't do anything besides give us a crown. So head into the player and find this give cat. Next, do an if else and do the cat accessory contains crown. And if it does, then we're going to go ahead and then we're going to take this change total cats under there. Then we're going to add an if else in here and do pick random one to two equals to one. 1 to 10, I'm sorry, equals to 1 because it's a 1 in 10 chance. And now we need to make a new variable for all sprites and name this bonus cats per click. And then you can name that a dot and then a parentheses bonus cats per click. So that is a new one. We're going to set the bonus cats per click to 2, otherwise set it to 0, like so. Next, we're going to move this out of the else right there and delete this one. We're going to add an if else and do an equals and do bonus cash per click equals to zero. Then we're going to change it by the normal one. Otherwise, we're going to change it by the cash per click times the bonus.
bonus cats per click like that. As you can see, it is normal, but if we add the crown to cat accessory and we click a few times, we should see that we get double points once in a while. So we get one, two, or 80, 82 right there. We just got double the point. So that means that this is working, but it doesn't actually say if we get double points. It always just says one no matter what. So what we need to do is go into the plus one and add an if else and do if the bonus cash per click is equal to zero, then we're going to do what we did previously. Otherwise, we're going to take that join plus cash per click times the bonus cash per click. So now it'll actually say when we get it. So we got two right there. So you see that it did two. So one, one, two. So this means that the cat accessory gold crown works, but let's make it look a little bit better. Broadcast new message and name this bonus and then add broadcast bonus on this one right here. Now in the accessory, when I receive bonus, set the brightness effect to 25, weight 0.0. .0. 0.01 seconds, repeat 5 times, change brightness effect by negative 5 so it kind of fades back out and then clear graphic effect. So let's go ahead and give ourselves the cat accessory. So just add crown to cat accessory and then broadcast bonus. Boom, it kind of does a little flash animation. Find the reset in the player and set bonus cats per click to 0 in the very beginning. So now when we start, we're back to only getting 1. So let's do a quick gameplay test. Lazy mouse and then move on to the next upgrade. So I'll get 25 points. Okay, I'd need 27 points now because of the multiplier. Okay, I got it and I'm making some extra money. So now I just need to get oop, golden cat. There we go. That was my ticket to get to the kitty crown. So now I buy it and it gives me it as you can see. And now I will randomly double my points like I just did there. Then I can start working towards the auto petter and the fishy cat food. So this is working super good. That means that this is the end of the episode. So thank you all so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, then make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing but anyway this has been owen and i am out